friends are the Fatui? Things will get sticky if the Fatui happen to recognize you. What should we do? Do this. Huh? Why have you put on a mask all of a sudden? Even if they are powerful, our status is much, and therefore we shouldn't allow them to admire our true faces so easily. Good thinking. Paimon thought for sure they'd recognize us. Let's proceed, shall we? I'll introduce you as my guest. As you'll see in a moment, there are many already helping us. I heard that this area had already been purged once by the Knights of Favonius, but it's the only place around Mondstadt that is well concealed and spacious enough. Although it has fallen into disrepair and does not suit the tastes of the nobility, we simply have to make due for now. Uh, sorry, um, can we walk any faster? Of course not. An aristocrat always moves with grace in his steps. Moving hurriedly is unacceptable. If you really must know, they're my guests. If you happen to offend them in even the slightest, then you will be- But this matter is of utmost secrecy. We must exercise caution. You dare question the ways of a nobleman? I- No need to sound all high and mighty like that. <sighs> Fine. You may proceed. Good thing you're with us. They don't dare to question you. <laughs> of course. That is the benefit of prestige. In past times, it would be a dire offense to speak to a nobleman in such a manner. We could determine a person's fate with the blink of an eye. <laughs> and such glory will return to me again before long. Where have I seen this person before? And who, may I ask, is this? This is our new ally that I've recently met. They are completely trustworthy. You have the word of the Lawrence clan. Our plans are strictly confidential. It's not... Furthermore, there's been word that an outlander who joined the Knights of Favonius... Don't be ridiculous. Besides, my guest is well versed in the etiquette of the... The Knights of Favonius... <sighs> Pay no regard to such. And what about this... thing? Uh, you mean Paimon? Enough! You dare question my word! Need I remind you who it is who has made your activity in Mondstadt pop? Without the support of the Lawrence clan, you would have all been driven out by the Knights of Favonius like dogs. You must immediately offer your sincerest apologies to my friend. You've offended their honor. Fine. I'll take your word and make no further inquiries. Now, to the matter at hand.
Did you bring the diagram of Mondstadt's defenses as promised? Oh, so that's what's going on here. Yes, of course. Here it is. Let me see. Aha. Huh. Why is it so poorly drawn? Everything's so squiggly and crooked. A and what is this shape supposed to be? Excuse me? I'll have you know that I went to great lengths to carefully draw this map by hand myself. That shape is the symbol of the Knights of Favonius. Ha, huh, I see. Crude, but I can... Of course, you needn't worry about that. Don't forget what we agreed upon. The flag of the Lawrence clan will fly above the Knights of Favonius headquarters. The rights to that building, as well as the whole of Mondstadt, belong to the Lawrence clan. Yes, yes, we will both profit from this agreement. There's no use haggling over the details. We will make good use of the intel you provided. Also, be certain not to divulge our identity. Don't worry, this matter is only between you and I. And my new friend here. No one else will know of it. Once this is over, I shall stand atop the Favonius headquarters and rebuke their pathetic rule over Mondstadt. Then, the city and all its people will once again be under the rightful and unwavering rule of the Lawrence clan. <laughs> Perfect. Just as it once was, and just as it should be. <sighs> May I remind you once again that we mustn't act rashly. That is all for now. Very well. Huh? What are you doing? That's right! It's the honorary knight and their trusty companion, Paimon! We're here to crush your evil schemes into dust! So this was all just a ploy to deceive- It's your own fault! Who would put so much trust in someone based purely on their manner? After so much planning, this is how it ends? Huh! We'll see about that! Just as I expected. I knew I should have never trusted these foolish- No matter. We already have the intel we need. They're running off in different directions! Paimon remembers that this place is a dead end. Let's take care of the Fatui first and then deal with Schubert later. I will end. Kill Joy! We don't need to sit I screw you! Spirit Blade! Attack! Touch me! Get out of my way! I'll leave on my own! It seems we finally caught up with you. This place is crawling. Oh, it's you. It seems your investigation went well. Aha! I see now. So you're the one that taught them our etiquette. And I thought you despised such. Furthermore, there is a rule in our family. Such traditions are never to be taught to outside. Ah, yes. Rings a bell. So what? I had no reason not to teach them. You have brought shame to our family and ruined my plans. It's all fun. I know that you poured great efforts into these plans, Uncle. But you are well aware that it was not the right thing to do. As a Knight of Favonia. Knight of Favonias? Let's get one thing straight. I am your uncle, and you are a member of the Lawrence clan. You should strive to restore your family's glory. You still have a chance. Defeat every Knight of Favonius here. Then I shall plea with the family to spare you and give you a new beginning. So just to be clear, you want a Knight of Favonius to attack the Knights of Favonius? I shall say this one last time. You are not a Knight of Favonius. You are a descendant of the Lawrence clan. 
The blood of the Lawrence clan flows in your veins. You must comply with the will of the family. Since when have I ever complied with the will of the family? Why, you... you unruly maid! If anyone should be angry, it should be me. As a member of the Lawrence clan, you knowingly plotted against the city of Mondstadt and threatened its safety. Had you ever stopped to consider the trouble it would bring to so many people? Had you considered how many enemies you would make trying to keep the plans under wraps? Y you dare lecture me- That's right. In the name of the family that you so dearly revere, Uncle Schubert, I've never experienced the age of glory you always speak of. And I've never understood our- But I am capable of discerning right from wrong. And I deeply understand what freedom means to the people of Mondstadt. The Lawrence clan should never and will never become what you've dreamed it to be. Oh, the disgrace of it all! How could such a rebellious monster emerge from our own fam- <laughs> Things are starting to get pretty hysterical here. Politeness- That's enough fuss for today. You two, take him away. <sighs> Given that you've already taken action, I assume you've come across some conclusive evidence? Paimon took a peek at their diagram. Your uncle had mapped out all of the Knight's patrol routes and marked out key information about Mondstadt. <sighs> and there was me thinking that he was just another elder of the family. And a lazy one at Let's discuss this later. Our first priority is recovering that diagram. More speed. Shut up! against us. will be mine.
A touch of frost. I condemn you. More speed. This must be it. They may very well have already made a copy of it, but without my uncle as their puppet, there'd be no use in them attacking the city. The Fatui wouldn't have relied only on your uncle. True, but if their plan had hinged purely on taking Mondstadt by force, as opposed to with the help of a puppet, they could have spared themselves the trouble. The Fatui are dishonest, but they wouldn't go as far as to start an open war. Their opposition wouldn't just be Mondstadt alone. Anyway, I'll inform the acting Grandmaster. She'll know how to handle things from here. Oh yeah! You suddenly appeared at just the right moment! Yeah, about that. Because you stole my targets by attacking the Fatui I'd been tracking earlier. I came to exact my vengeance. You tried to do my job for me, and I'm here to return the favor. Finally! After all this time, Paimon understands what you're saying! In reality, you sensed that something might happen to us during our investig- You were worried about us and your uncle, so you brought a team to take a look- My purpose was vengeance. Don't twist the story. <laughs> you don't look too bright, but it turns out you have a knack for scheming. And mark my words, I'll remember that. Hey! What do you mean Paimon doesn't 
look too bright. You have seeded a deep enmity between us. Just you wait. Even if you were to be completely destroyed, I would never forget you. Bring it on! <laughs> I like your fighting spirit. I'll take this diagram back to the Knights of Favonius and take it from here. Sure! Well, see you around! That you will. And make sure not to steal my targets next time. Thank you. 